Welcome everyone to today's video. Yes, we have a new king of free to play dethroning Captain Snowball. So stay tuned for today's episode. Hello everyone and welcome. Yes, we have a new king free to play player in the mix right now in the call. So his name is stupers and i believe he is in server three but we're gonna ask him all the gritty questions as well as ask him some advice and tips for you guys to take advantage of because as you can see he's put me to shame even harder because you know i don't i would say i'm pretty active but not super active and i'm only 30 million and you can see here stupers rocking 42 Point three million power so he's doing a fantastic job as you can see obviously if someone thinks they can beat 42.3 million do what stupid did comment below and just shout your name out and we can jump in into a, a, a call and we can you know get a new king so right now let's go into the interview with stupid so how you doing stupid do you want to tell everyone what kingdom you actually started in and a bit of information about yourself hi hi people well uh, i am from server 2022 no server 2 sorry sorry yeah uh, i am from ah, i was from server 2 but now i am in the server 3 ah uh, that makes sense i'm, I'm okay uh, yeah so now i am in the server uh, free and waiting for music nice nice so just as everyone as you can just gathered you know a little bit nervous but don't worry don't worry he was in server 2 so originally server 2 um like i believe the ta and tm alliance originally is and then he migrated out and now he's in server 3 and right now what alliance are you currently playing in i am playing in rk Nice, okay, free. Sorry for my English, I am learning. Yeah, no, I think everyone, honestly, I think everyone appreciates the effort. That's what all that this is. It's a little bit of fun, a little bit of everyone gets to know you and you get to show yourself off, you know. So, thank you for that. Let's go on to the next question. So, obviously, you guys are free to play and you've been wanting some advice and tips, obviously, from the king. So, Stupers, could you give some tips and tricks for all of those free to play players looking to potentially grow to the same power as you? Uh, like the other free to play side in the other video, uh, one of the most important things in the free to play account is to spend all time your PC. Because yeah. for us is very important to take arrows. I am in the tower level 23, and do some for but well, all time do forts to get books. Uh, so one tip is spend all time PC, and when you at, at least when you get uh, castle 25. I really focus in in recollect shames. Okay. Because uh, the resources uh, when you get level 25, uh, uh, you are fine. You don't need or uh, stress uh, gathering, gathering. Uh, you always, you always must do, but you don't need so many. Uh, for example, you can see my. Yeah. My Definitely I understand. So, <laughs> so no problem for that. Uh, the problem are the shams because you need a good bid. So I recommend uh, showing a good alliance. If you are free to play and you have friends, I recommend you uh, showing the top alliance or because you must grow up. And if you will be playing for two years, uh, no problem. Uh, for a uh, play with another guys for two seasons and after that you join with your friends and you have very very good account like me for example i play in tea to grow up and i i know some people 
and I do friend from I am Spanish so I I know a lot of people in Spain and in the fourth season I go with them with a good account to help them so it's very important to stay in a good alliance and very active nice so if you want I'll just quickly summarize that up if you want to keep showing off the alliance and stuff you can um, so as Stupers were just saying uh, just to summarize it up for you guys before maybe stupid just carries on maybe as an additional tip who knows but as he was saying activity is very very key so as you notice right now his cp bar obviously him being uh, spanish it's just flipped over for pc but basically your energy stamina you name it everyone knows the same resource system right so you need that always empty and as he suggests you want to be either focusing maybe day to day you want to switch it up focus a load of forts one day focus you know all your barbarians patrols the next day because you're gonna need all those arrows and all those rally books to eventually get all of the upgrades that are required right so a really really good point there and obviously as he transitions in he did say activity on your alliance try and join the top alliance it's just honestly guys it's so key and honestly if you're a very very active free to play player you can get into top alliances it's just down to your activity and your effort basically in the game so do you have any other tips with with that or is that all you have to say yeah return to the, the tip of champs yeah it's very very important for free to play because you can do in one day and you get a uh, this stamina the shame that you can uh, recollect more so you want two days for hems and other for resources right so, really good advice there i like that so what he's saying there is as you can see there is, and everyone does know this, there is a resource cap on gathering gems, right? And you do need these gems, especially if your goal might be to eventually get T5, right? Because everyone knows that level 25 buildings all cost 2,000 gems, right? So as you can see, what he's doing here is gathering basically at the start of the week, maybe Monday, Tuesday, he might gather purely gems and exhaust it so he ha cannot physically gather any more gems because you can see here look he's already gathered 21,300 gems which is nuts to see that right so you can see he's gathering so many gems and once he's hit that fatigue number well we just go and actually gather the resources we need so the gold the wood the stone as well as mainly i would say the mana because mana is so needed to heal your troops as well as the research later on so i actually really really like that tip no one's actually really mentioned that so far on any of these interviews so i really really enjoy that so let's go on to the, the next section so i think the next section is really good i think you guys will enjoy this because obviously we've got stupids here and we all want to know basically what marches have you been playing? Have you been focusing more on the mages or have you been focusing more on the archers? Well, uh, first I see you can see you, I use all drops. Yeah. But but free to play is more, very very important. Uh, mage, mage is the best option. Uh, I use what the belly. You see, like the yeah. season. The third day in my camp, Waldir. And now I am using Waldir too. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very good. With Valen. I can imagine. I can imagine eventually when you get that Valen, you know, expertise, that combination. Like I always say, this is one of the best free to play options because it's one of those combos that all four skills are really good on all four commanders and then valen's awakening when you do get that awakening it perfectly synergizes with wild deer so i do do really really enjoy that mage combo do you have any other combos you really enjoy using uh one tip with mage yeah uh, i do when i fight for example with def def t5 huh? Uh, and you have uh, 20 million power, uh, you will lose. But if you uh, use your uh, ira, you you hit the infantry 
and you use your abilities in Mage or Archer from them, for example. It's, yeah. it's good for free to play because, for example, you you hit the infantry, but when you see that uh, this era will be in the top, you hit the, for example, archer or mage that. Yeah, it's a charge of your skill, right? So you you can get easy from from no counter down. <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh, what what he's saying is there's two things you can do with mage. Is really good one is the area of effect damage. So for example, if there's infantry that are located around those enemy archers and enemy T5 players, if you actually target the infantry, because you do have unit advantage system against them, well, you're going to deal more damage, but the area of effect is actually going to deal damage to those guys, and you're not going to take anything for it. It's free damage at the end of the day, yeah. as well as... Obviously, you can also skill cycle, right? So if you really wanted to, again, target maybe the infantry march, just to charge up your skill almost, and guess what? Flick it across to someone else that might be weaker, and you can get a massive amount of AOE there. So we can see here some stats here. Uh, I'm guessing the top number there is your PvP m kills. Yeah, yeah, PvP kills from Wild Deer. That is a nice 17.4 million kills with Wild Deer. Very good. Well, another another match is I use a lot of time is Nico with one win. Yeah. But now I, I use Inara. <laughs> if if you can see, I have ability to use, but I am waiting for a new season. Yeah. Because, for example, I want the second. So <laughs> when the the next season start, I when I have level ten, I pull pull that to level up. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. It's a really clever thing. So this is basically, so guys, as you can see, he's got his veil and maxed out, right? And if you're trying to obviously allocate skills, you can still do this for a certain hero. So as he said, he wants his skill to max. So what he can do is when he hits level 10 and he gets the second skill unlocked, it's the only skill available. So guess what? All of those skills aren't randomly being hit. It's going straight into skill two only because it's the only available skill. So it's a really good way to get basically 5-5-1-1 five, five, one, one. on his Valen. So maybe in the future, if he wants to, he can go 5-5-5-1 five, 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 and have it in that regards, right? He has that ability to do that. So it's a really good way to fix your heroes if you are looking to do that. The same for Kinara here, I will use the second because I, I don't have Syndrome because I don't take, I can't, in this server it's easy to take the, the Lord Strong. Yeah. It's, it's easy, in this server no much way, but I am like free to play so I am focusing Kinara. I can do more, you know, because I don't focus in Kinara, Madeline, all the time. We need focus in one. Yeah. So last last little tip there, I'll just say before we go into and wrap things up. Basically, focus on your heroes. So we we stress this a lot on the channel, and you know maybe other content creators do suggest this, but you need to honestly focus down. So as you see, he's focusing on his Kanara, he's focusing then on his Madeline, right? And because he's he's got these heroes in mind that he wants to focus on. It basically allows him not to worry about anything else, right? If anything else appears, so like his Emrys potentially, you know, his Emrys could have got really, really lucky through gold keys, for for an example, or his Nika. Yeah, for example, for for Emrys, I have the luck. The mm -hmm. I take the second place in the Lord Strong. I take the second place. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. So you you are focusing on certain heroes, and he's basically allowing opportunities like he just said the strongest lord to luckily steal these other heroes that he wasn't even focusing on he just gets these as a side prize right so it's a really good tip there so focus on your heroes pick what you're going to go for so you know if you're going to be majors guess what you might want to just focus on your valen at the start and once you've done your valen maybe you work on someone like kanara or madeline you know or maybe a future commander because we do know as you know stupers there is two new commanders coming very very soon so yeah. 
Do you have any last words you want to say to the viewers for everyone at home that's been watching today's video? Uh, uh, I recommend like a uh, whale and free to play, say every time this, so important. You can see I focus in my economic techno. Yeah. But now I'm full, I am waiting for academy. But I, I really think that all people need to, to, to do this, to free to play. Help a lot because you need to develop your hospital. Is so it's very expensive. So if you can take this, good. And focus only in one, one here. Yeah. No need all that. No need. Yeah. I have all this maxi, but you need focus in in one. For example, I am doing this <laughs> because the mesh is the best. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so just to summarize that last bit up before we finish this video up then, basically focus on your tech correctly. So in the eco tech tree, as you guys know, always, always push the minimal requirements, but get that research eco point maxed out. The lower the costs, obviously the better it is because it's gonna cost you less and less speed ups in order to do that. And then, as you can see with the troop types, Obviously focus on one T5, you know, you can max out all the previous stats in the T4 section and stuff, but when it goes to the actual tier five unit, just pick one because honestly guys, it's so much time and resources that are required for you in order to push through. So honestly, thank you very much stupers. Today has been honestly and an amazing video. I think everyone has enjoyed themselves here with yourself. So thank you for your time. Um, just do you want to say anything before you disappear? Nah, thank you all and uh, I hope that all people can understand me. <laughs> and if you have a good question to do or something, no problem to answer. <laughs> Perfect. So as you heard him, if you've got any questions, guys, remember, pop them in the comment section below. M myself and Snoopers are willing to obviously answer those comments away. So if you've enjoyed it, smash a like, comment, and subscribe to today's video. My name is Mr. Sneaker, an official Call of Dragons content creator. And with all that said, and with all that episode concluded, stay safe, stay sneaky, and peace out, everyone.